King, baby. Yes, the game we've waited 14 years for is finally here. Juju to Forever finally hits our shelves, but was it worth waiting forever? One, two, I personally break. have completed its predecessor, Duke Nukem 3D, back when it was re-released on the Xbox Live Marketplace, and I loved it. So when Can I loaded up Duke Nukem Forever, I got gassed, board? but that was short-lived. Don't get me wrong, the game is funny. You can do mad things like draw on the drawing board, as you can see. Or play pool. Pop popcorn. Big guy back into action. Piss. Or even seek revenge for your fans. Aliens, I'll never get that moment back. You fucking amateur. We're done. We're done professionally, man. You're a nice guy. You're a nice guy. But you don't get it. Fuck. Oh, thanks, Duke. <laughs> that guy was a douche. But other than that. The rest of the game was shocking. I had high hopes for this game, but it plays, looks, feels like an Xbox One game. The combat is terrible, the driving is terrible, boss battles are terrible. It's down to you and me, you one eyed freak. I remember I waited at least 7 minutes to load one part of the game and it's a shame because this game had a lot of potential bearing in mind how much time it had in process but it shows that time heals nothing. Games are about enjoyment which is what they wanted to implement into the game but that seems like all they worked deeply on. But not that good. So on that note, Ton Tavern Gaming Club scores Duke Nukem Forever a 4 out of 10.